Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wild Pitch. On this channel, we're going to be bringing you some extraordinary countdowns from the world of baseball. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and jam that notification bell to make sure you catch a good pitch every time we drop a new video. On today's episode, we're going to be counting down our 10 picks for some of the filthiest strikeouts in baseball. Stay glued to your screens as we've loaded up some of the greats on this list. Don't go anywhere. Watch till the end because we've got some juicy mentions on our list. Let's relive these jaw-dropping K's, shall we? Getting the countdown started at number 10 is Clayton Kershaw's nasty hook against the Brew Crew's 2018 MVP, Christian Yelich. Yelich was absolutely frozen when he encountered an out-of-this-world 2-2 curve from Kershaw. This nasty hook started at the eyes and ended up below the letters. Yelly, you weren't the first and you most definitely won't be the last. Making hitters look absolutely defenseless at number 9, we have Justin Verlander, who made Todd, the Todd father Frazier, look helpless in their 2017 ALCS matchup. Frazier's swing looked like his bat was completely sawed off. I guess that's what happens when an 83 mile per hour Uncle Charlie is nowhere near your mind. It was easily one of the nastiest pitches we have ever seen here at Wild Pitch. Yikes! Up next, this might be one of the filthiest sliders thrown that didn't come out of Chris Sale's hand. Coming in at number 8 is Andrew Miller with a pitch that literally disappeared. Miller struck out the Twins' Brian Dozier to strand two runners and keep the game scoreless. I'm sure Cleveland loved that. For Dozier and the Twins, all I can say is that life comes at you fast. One second you can be standing upright in the batter's box and the next, you know, you're touching earth after completely whiffing at a pitch that almost hits your back foot but it happens to the best of us, bub. Keep your head up. I know you're enjoying this countdown, but before we move on, click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more entertaining content on baseball. And wait till you see who claims our number one spot. Stay put. For our number seven spot on the countdown, we have Backwards K, brought to you by the Crafty Swordsman or the McGregor Doppelganger, Trevor Bauer. Bauer's 81 mile per hour off speed pitch sent Jose Iglesias back to the Tigers' dugout without a fight. Yeah, and he got him looking at a curveball. Not only did the smooth shortstop not take a hack at the pitch, but he even gave us a little bit of a Michael Jackson tribute. Jose Iglesias is not the only one who's gone looking. We're going to stick with another backwards K for our number six slot. We all know Aroldis Chapman for hitting triple digits with his electric fastball. 100, 102, 105. But his 83 mile per hour slider in this filthy strikeout is elite. Watch this. Rubber, now second. At a difference of almost 20 miles per hour, Chapman's slider gave us a pretty good knee buckle, not just Derek Dietrich, the Miami Marlins' second baseman. I mean, how do you even prepare for someone who's a flamethrower and has a 20 mile per hour difference for an off speed when he's throwing 105? Ridiculous. Speaking of knee buckling, let's check out former Chicago White Sox shortstop Alexi Ramirez for number five on this awesome countdown. Leave it to Yoervis Medina, who was pitching on the Seattle Mariners at this time to provide us with easily one of, if not the most disrespectful, curveballs at the time. He buckled Ramirez's knees and sent him reeling to the ground. Move, pitch. Strike three call. Nice job by the run, but he does end it right there. Limits the damage to two runs. With the announcers and crowd's reaction, you would have thought the Mariners had just walked the game off. Ramirez could do nothing but get to one knee and put a hand on his hip. It was really a thing of beauty 
Can you disagree? Number four is going to Yu Darvish and his 59 mile per hour EFIS pitch against Adam LaRoche. For his seventh strikeout of the game, Darvish threw his slow floater of a pitch that started about armpit high and just dropped in slow motion. Believe it or not, LaFroche is still frozen. We're getting close to our top three, and I'm sure you can't wait to see what we have for you. Let's do a quick recap, shall we? So at number 10 is the Dodgers' frontman, Clayton Kershaw, who left the 2018 MVP stuck in the batter's box. At number 9, we have Justin Verlander from the Tigers, who left the Todd father with a pitch he could not refuse. We have Andrew Miller at number 8, the magician, at least that's what Brian Dozier calls him. On to number 7, we have Trevor Bauer, with a pitch that has proven to make a batter pull out mid-80s dance moves. Araldus Chapman comes in at number 6, with no, not a triple-digit fastball, but with a low 80 slider. Yoervis Medina sits at number 5, providing us with the most disrespectful result of a curveball we've ever seen. And before we hit the top three, we show you Yu Darvish's Little League Curveball for our number four spot. Now, earlier in the countdown, we talked about disappearing sliders. Well, at number three, we have Chris Sale, the man with the most feared slider in the league. A slider so filthy that it swung from batter's box to batter's box. Unfortunately, on the receiving end was an outfielding legend. Shout out, Tory Hunter. Hunter could only hope for the best, and after not making contact with anything, he could only stare at Sale with a slight grin. Now, this wasn't the first time Sale has victimized Hunter. One time, Sale actually got Hunter to swing at a slider that hit him. Now that's disgusting. In the top two and at two, we have J.R. Graham, who made Carlos Gomez pretty much breakdance at the plate. Who knew the batter's box brought out the dancer and ball players? Oh, and after breakdancing, Gomez then took a nap as well. After fanning on Graham's changeup for strike three, Gomez was hollered and hooted at from the fans and the twins dug out. Talk about kicking a man when he's down. Okay, drum rolls, please. Our list has featured some filthy strikeouts so far, but the one that takes our number one spot is Brad Wick, with the nastiest curveball on our list. Wick snapped off a hook so dirty that Kyle Seeger of the Seattle Mariners ducked down and out of the batter's box for a called strike three. This off-speed had Seeger locked up and just downright lost. It looked like it was coming up at his noggin, but then it Dr. Stranged himself right into the middle of the zone. Phew! How do you even go back up to the plate again if he's still on the mound? Do you like our picks? Which one do you think was the filthiest? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more interesting baseball countdowns. Till the next episode, we'll see you next time right here on Wild Pitch.